everyone and welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing really well so I thought since these videos are doing so well on my channel I will do one more for you and today we will be going through my Givenchy lipsticks um, I have about I think 10 or 11 of them um, and yeah we will go through the swatches on my lips and on my hand you know the drill so yeah let's just get on with this okay right so let's get straight into this um now these you want she lipsticks are i haven't heard about them from a lot of people but i don't know why um they are so i do have one of them on my lips at the moment too now to give you an overview in a nutshell um they are extremely comfortable, very, very moisturizing, creamy. They're not the most longest, long wearing lipsticks that I own, uh, but they are very um, like wearable, everyday lipsticks. Um, you may sometimes need touch-ups, um, but I think having some of those lipsticks in your, in your collection is not a bad thing. So the first one is this. Now just look at that beautiful, Thing. how gorgeous is this so um, they come in like a very luxurious black um, shiny packaging uh, where it says Givenchy in the middle over there this is like a ribbon um, and th so this is the, a ribbon that goes right uh, until at the right to the tip of the case and then when you pull it out this is your lipstick so even though the case is square but the lipstick is round so they are um, big lipsticks, so they are 3.4 grams per size uh, per lipstick. I do have a few of them which are slightly smaller but they lack a different finish and a different line so I'll let you know. Okay, so the first one that we are looking at is this one. This is called Flash Coral. Uh, this is number 17 and this is what it looks like. So look how beautiful. And of course, because it's Givenchy, um, so they have their logo on their lipsticks too if you can see look how beautiful now uh, this color in particular is very very everyday it's a very light peachy color beautiful on the lips uh, it has a like an undertone so on the camera again it's coming like a bit of fleshy kind but in real life it is like a like a really um, subtle but striking coral um, I don't I don't know what else to say about that <laughs> to be honest but yeah it's a beautiful color I am wearing it with my lip liner from Mac so it might come off a bit um, orangish brown but I want to match my top so I did that anyway um, yeah so in real life it actually is quite coral uh, if you wear it without a lip pencil then you will definitely get the more corally aspect of it um, instead of a brownish one the next one is called infra rose this is the number 22 um, and this is what it looks like this is a beautiful beautiful color it's like it's a beautiful beautiful color um, I absolutely love the packaging like it says Givenchy over here as well and then it has the um, has it on the lip the logo is on the lipstick as well it's just so beautiful so this color looks very very daunting in the bullet but when you swatch it now this is like I went over it about three times um, so you get a payoff so you can absolutely wear this like a very sheer color on the lips not too heavy um, not too daunting um, you can wear this like if you want to have like a if you're starting off like really bright pink colors but you're not sure whether you could you know go ahead with it or not or if you're not comfortable doing it then this this color in um, this finish is absolutely perfect because you can just wear it as a wash um, and not as like a proper lipstick you can just dab it on with your fingers they are very very creamy so when you put it on with your fingers it's more like a like a very light balmy texture but they are so so beautiful so the next one we have is called 21 rose neon and this is what it looks like i do tend to go towards lipsticks that are more pinky um than brownie i think it's because i do i do like brown uh, pink lipsticks but 
yeah it's it's nice so this is what it looks like again this lipstick is very straight up pink it's pink in your face literally um, it's straight up pink it has um, again the same beautiful creamy balmy texture um, they are pigmented but like you can shear it up shear it out really really well um, and it's really comfortable on the lips like what can I say they are absolutely beautiful um, this one this color in particular is a very cool toned pink um, it's not a, it's not like a, I think it has like a bluish pink that's what they say yeah I think so yeah it's got a blue undertone so it's like a very cool cool colored uh, pink color but it's really nice it's like I like it it's like straight up pink um, there's, there's nothing confusing about this one um, that's why I like it next one I have is also a pink one this is called 20 wild rose and this is what it looks like now this one is um, a slightly different kind of pink um, I think this one is slightly mauvey pink as you can see again oh, on the camera it looks really different but in real life if you see this if you're here um, it has like a it is also cool taste it almost has like a gray undertone to it so it is pink but it's not like complete it's not it is pink but it's not pure pink it's more like a combination of I would say like yeah it's like a greyish pink it's not kind of like, it's like purpley pinks so maybe that's why it's giving a grey colour but I think this colour would be really nice if you're wearing like um, uh, like a, a grey top or like a grey eye for example like I'm wearing today um, then this actually would be really really nice so yeah this colour is is very uh, different and it's a very different kind of pink and if you're a person like me who like who likes their pinks then yeah absolutely go for it right the next one we have is called rosy night which is colour 19 um, and this is what it looks like now this is a very nudey colour it's um it's more like having pink but nudie pink very very nudie um, I don't wear this color very often I'm gonna be absolutely honest um, only because it's very very light um, and when I whenever I have worn this it's usually it comes off more as like a lip balmy because it's so so light but hey if that's the kind of color you like that's the kind of color you want to wear um and you don't usually wear like a lot of lipsticks then um then this might just be perfect for you because it's literally like a tinted lip balm uh, just because of its color you can build it up but i think if you build it up more it'll just become more moisturizing and more slippery on the lips than anything else so yeah maybe think about that right the next one is um a different line so these ones are slightly I would say slightly more pigmented uh, but before we go on can you please just check the packaging this how beautiful is this how beautiful is this so this is um, it's a slimmer tube this is all leather it's it's a leather lipstick guys leather lipstick and then at the bottom here it has two like buttons here and here once you press them together the lipstick comes out how beautiful is this imagine having this in your purse and you're like taking it out and putting it on your lips so ladylike anyway so this is what the lipstick ear is inside it's a very thin very feminine very delicate lipsticks uh, de delicate lipstick um, this one is slightly smaller than this so the other the big ones are 3.4 this one has 2.2 grams of lipstick which again is not a lot of lipstick um, but oh my god I literally love the packaging how beautiful like it's got the logo at the end there and then yeah oh god it's absolutely beautiful anyway so this colour is called Rose Fantasy um, and this is what it looks like the only thing is that these um, these thin ones don't have the logo on the actual lipstick so um, if that's something that you like then this might not be one of them 
Um, right, so this one is again a very so you know what this is this is like a neon pink but in a balmy texture so when you do put this on your lips you can't see the neon color on your lips but it's very balmy um the only reason why it looks really really light is because the texture of these ones um they are more like a matte balm um they are very moisturizing and the kind of texture they have is they cling onto your lips but not in a bad way like it's having it's like having a really thick moisturizing um gloss without the glossiness that's what this feels like um they have a very peculiar texture but they are so beautiful and so moisturizing on the lips so comfortable to and me and pinks can you go wrong not really but anyway right the next one so the next one is again um another line of these um this one has slightly different packaging so this is what the package packaging looks like it doesn't have the ribbon around it because um it's like inside the tube if you can see it's running through the tube over there um and these ones are slightly more pigmented than the normal ones so this is what the normal packaging looks like and this is what this one looks like so it's like a clear it's got a clearer um shell um and then exactly the same the lipstick so the lipstick shapes are different too this one is called fuchsia illicit 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 um again the thin ones don't have the uh embossed logo on them but again this is like a bright fuchsia pink absolutely beautiful um these ones they are less glossy but as much moisturizing as they are again with the pink this one i know is a bit um it's a bit brighter but the reason why i like this it's again on the camera it's coming really, really shocking pink but in real life it's more like a almost maroony pink um and i say that because it's got a tinge of red in it so it's not completely pink it's not completely red it's somewhere in the middle so if there's a if there's a um a color where you would want to mix red and pink and maybe a bit of red uh, and maybe a bit of like maroon then this would be your absolutely favorite color um the texture of this one is again uh it's not very lightweight it's very very thick and balmy next one is called zero one which is secret nude this is what it looks like again a very nudie brown color um again i i tend to not wear this as much i would really want to but to be honest i'm not like a nudie nudie kind of person when it comes to lipsticks i like brighter lipsticks but anyway this is what the color looks like this is exactly the same as my exactly the same as my top today isn't it i think so now this color i think on deeper skin tones would look absolutely beautiful for like a really nice nude uh, skin tone it could even be like an um everyday color um the color here i would say it's like a very light terracotta very very light with a hint of peach but not really so like a very 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 light tinge of peach but yeah more terracotta it is a beautiful color i just it's just a bit um unfortunate that i don't gravitate towards nude nudie colors as much um pinks and purples and dark browns uh maroons and reds are what my palette is like so that's why i usually wear but colors like these are absolutely beautiful on all skin tones right so the next one we have is the number 18 called addicted to rose is a combination of a pink and a nude if you want to wear this is like this is like an everyday color like come on this is like an absolute everyday color uh, and i say this because it's not pink it's not peach it's not beige it's not brown it's somewhere in between so with colors like with with a very cool undertone so with the colors like these 
it's very wearable for all kinds of skin tones um, because it's not dark so it's right in your face but it's it's very wear I just I just find this is really really well worn. you will see it on my on the lip swatches of um, what I actually mean when I say it's really wearable it's absolutely beautiful it does have a tinge of peach in it uh, but then you've got like a brown beigey um, tone to bring the peachiness down so which makes it a really wearable everyday color the next one is also from our d the different range um, and this one is called uh, it's called zero now zero nine coral redoubtable i think that's what it's called i'll put the name here and you can decide what it's called um this is what it looks like again it's the it's a slightly more pigmented line that they have um and this one is straight up orange um, it's a peachy orange, not completely orange orange. Uh, it's a peachy orange with nice um, warm peach undertones, uh, really comfortable to wear. And I think this colour would be really nice on dark skin, only because like it really brings out um, your undertone so if you've got like a warmer undertone this would look absolutely beautiful on you on the camera it looks slightly warmer but in real life it's much more much more peachy and um much more brighter i would feel um, and also can you see the sheen on that my goodness beautiful these are absolutely beautiful and then the last one uh, we are finishing with these beautiful things again so this one is the only dark dark color I have and this one is called 303 framboyance uh, 303 and I cannot pronounce the name of and I cannot pronounce the name of this so I'll put it here somewhere for you um, and this is what it looks like it's a very dark wine berry um purpley color and it looks really 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 strong in the bullet but when you swatch it i know you wouldn't have imagined that this color came out from this the only reason why i like this is because in the bullet it looks really really strong but when you do swatch it it's so wearable like i would easily wear this i would e i would even wear this going out for like sainsbury's and stuff like you get my point it's not it's not really in your face it's like a balmy really comfortable soft um dark purple lipstick and i absolutely love this i mean come on now this is beautiful um the shade here i would say is a combination of like a berry and a and a brown and i say brown is because it again on the camera it's coming up really brighter but in real life it's much more muted down um, and the sheen to this is also beautiful if you can see that on my hand um, i absolutely love this color i think this is this is the kind of color i don't have in any of my collections so this is a color that is very 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 dear and very close to my heart so and those were all my Givenchy lipstick guys i really really hope you like please give this a big thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe guys because honestly it's absolutely free you don't get charged for it so come on now come on it's 2021 let's do something great and something lovely and subscribe to my channel <laughs> i think i've had too much coffee anyway i'll see you guys uh in my next video bye